Alright guys, for a quick lunch I have some leftovers from last night. We've got some baked pumpkins, some steamed green beans that were actually frozen, black rice, so yummy, chopped baked sweet potato, chickpeas, and nutritional yeast. So this is lunch. Oh, hey guys, sorry I didn't talk to you this morning. I was like rushing to class and yeah, made it on time, but just about to sit down to lunch and I thought I'd just chat with you guys for a little bit because yeah, lots on my mind, not tons, but um, yeah, so we just got back from Vietnam last night around five or so and um, somehow I had the energy or just maybe I was craving nutrients so badly that I just stopped at the market on our way home and bought all these veggies and just made a bunch of food last night just in our steamer and the rice cooker and the oven, which is so easy. And so we had basically the same meal last night, so I'm just eating some leftovers for lunch. But yeah, as you guys saw, I had breakfast this morning, which was delicious. I just cooked some, what did I cook? Oatmeal with flaxseed and chia seed and cinnamon. And then I topped that with a banana, some frozen blueberries, which is like my new favorite thing to put on. It's not new, but Oh, they're so good frozen because it like balances out the hot of the oatmeal. Anyways, that, some almond butter and a Brazil nut, and so that was super good, filled me up for a long time, and for those of you guys who know or have been watching my videos for a little while, you guys know that I was kind of experimenting with intermittent fasting, and yeah, I just love doing that kind of stuff. I don't know why, just like trying different diets as long as they're in reason and plant-based or vegan, and yeah, I just find it fun. So. I heard about this and I was like, that sounds like it has so many pros and I really want to give it a go and for a while I loved it. Like you guys probably saw in my videos, like I genuinely enjoyed it, those massive meals and um, yeah, just not having hunger all the time, just like this constant thought of needing to eat, like I would just eat a meal and be so full for a long time and not think about food. Um, but yeah, when we first started our trip to Vietnam, I just had, this happens a lot when I travel, it doesn't always have to do with intermittent fasting, but I looked like I was pregnant like the first three days, like I just couldn't digest my food, like maybe it was, I just think it's too much food for my body to handle in one sitting because the last thing I wanted to do was under eat, so I was making sure to eat large portions, and um, I just felt like, and I lost my appetite kind of, I kind of missed while it was awesome in one sense to not have to think about food for a long time and the other sense it was like I'd get to my second meal and be like I'm still kind of full you know so yeah so the first trip part of Vietnam I started eating breakfast just because it worked well with our schedule and I really enjoy eating um, out in the, when I'm in other countries just to like experience more of the food and culture so it took so long, like, I just felt so full the entire time because my body wasn't used to three meals a day. Um, and yeah, I just wasn't having good digestion, just didn't, I felt like stuff was just sitting in me. So, yeah, um, where was I going with that? One, the last thing I want to do is to make people think that in order to eat a plant-based diet or to be healthy is that you have to eat two meals a day or you have to intermittent fast. And for me, it's super fun to experiment but when I'm showing you guys what I'm eating and all this stuff, it's not very normal. Not many people just eat two meals a day, which is fine. Not everything that's good is normal. But I really want plant-based eating and veganism to seem accessible to most of the world and not be something like, I have to eat two meals a day or I have to stuff my face and eat that much or I can't eat smaller meals. or I just want it to seem accessible and easy and fun and that you don't have to skip meals or whatever. So those were just some thoughts I had. So the combination of after a while of intermittent fasting, not having good digestion and just feeling like I was bloated all the time and then just thinking, I really want to be a good role model for normalcy 
And while I think it's fine, I can totally experiment, but um, that's kind of what it was, just an experiment, something to try. I will say I think I would love in intermittent fasting if I had a more flexible schedule. So because I had class in the mornings, um, Chinese class, I couldn't eat my first meal until noon and then that would push my nighttime meal until like 7 or so and then I would just go to bed so full, like kind of overly full just because I wanted to make sure I got in enough calories. Um, but if I like say was a stay at home mom or I had a more flexible schedule where I could break my fast at like 10 and then eat a second meal at like 4 then I think that would be so perfect but it just didn't work with my schedule and so that was another big reason why I was just like eh, going too long in the morning without eating and then eating way too late for me because I go to bed early so like eating a massive meal at like 8 or something and going to bed being in bed at 9.30 to wind down was just like oh I'm so full so anyways you will probably be seeing three meals a day with snacks, whatever, um, from here on out. Just thought I'd share with you, share that with you guys. Um, it was a super fun experiment. I love doing that kind of stuff, but turns out I'm three meal a day or so. And it's so funny, after a few days of kind of intense bloating and uncomfortableness in Vietnam, my body quickly got back to being hungry in the mornings and wanting those three meals a day. And so that's exciting. Um, so I feel back to normal. My best digestion's good and yeah just happy to yeah have this food to eat um, I'm gonna dig into this I might actually go grab some lettuce to just eat along with it because that also helps me my digestion so if you guys have troubles with digestion try to add some grains to your food it could help anyways I've rambled long enough I hope that made sense I'd love to hear your thoughts and comments below and I will talk to you guys whenever I eat next how to give it that kick because I became addicted to ginger tea in Vietnam and it was like spicy and would like tingle my throat and made my stomach feel so good so I'm gonna have to keep trying maybe let it steep longer or like blend the ginger into the water not sure but not bad for the first try I think I might sweeten it a little somehow but anyways I'll talk to you guys at dinner Alright, so dinner is super nutritious and filling and easy. I already had baked potatoes roasted, and so I just put them back in the oven, heated them up, steamed some broccoli, which is my favorite way to eat it, some grapes, which are the best, and then you can just jazz it up with whatever condiments you like. So we have some homemade baba ganoush that I made today, and some homemade pumpkin hummus, and course sriracha and nutritional yeast so we're gonna eat and I'll let you know if I eat anything else all right guys so we just had that awesome dinner so simple and so satisfying like meals don't have to be complicated just buy some condiments and you're good to go so I'm gonna have some of this dark chocolate we bought in Vietnam and some people don't know that vegan can be that vegan can be chocolate that chocolate can be vegan but just look at the ingredients and if it doesn't have milk then you're good to go so I'm gonna have some of this some tea with soy milk and then that should be, be me done for the day so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope it gave you some inspiration for simple healthy meals and I will see you guys in the next one bye <laughs>